the final years of the Third Age, Middle-earth stands on the brink of destruction. The Free Peoples are under threat from Sauron, the Lord of the Rings, who prepares his vast armies for war. At this late hour, the leaders of elves, dwarves, and men come together at the Council of Elrond to decide their next move. After the Fellowship is assembled and heads south to destroy the source of Sauron's power, the remaining leaders prepare for the Dark Lord's assault upon the northern lands. The elven and dwarven races have always had little trust for each other, but now they must unite and fight a common enemy. Lord Sauron's influence spreads far across the lands of Middle-earth. Goblins descend from the Misty Mountains. A vast army flows from Dol Guldur, his evil fortress in Mirkwood. The war in the north begins in Lorien where the host from Dol Guldur intends to crush the elves who have long lived in their nearby enchanted forest. The elves of Lorien have been driven from their enchanted forest. The tide of darkness from Dol Guldur will now spread to all of the northern lands. Sauron has influence on all things untamed. The goblins have been roused from their mountain caves and will fight for the Dark Lord. Even now, their armies advance on the ancient elven port city of Muthlod. Sauron also sends the Corsairs of Umbar to attack from the sea. Once this port is destroyed, the elves will have no hope of escaping to the west. The remaining elves have scattered into the hills. have an ancient debt to pay to the hobbits of the nearby Shire. Long ago, a great goblin chief led an army into these lands known as the Shire. The defending hobbits killed the chief and routed the invaders. The Battle of Green Fields has not been forgotten by the goblins and their kind. Now their leader returns to the land of the hobbits with a determination to triumph where his ancestors failed.
the scourge of the shark. Goblin invasion appears to be unstoppable. You'll pay for this, you bullies! Now hobbits and elves alike have been crushed and scattered throughout the lands. and men are making a stand in the abandoned stronghold of Fornost. The goblins seek to destroy the defenders and take this ancient fortress as a prize. As the goblin hordes ravage the western lands, Sauron's forces from Dol Guldur spread north into Mirkwood. The forest road divides the great woodland and is key to the domination of the region. The wood elves of this forest, led by King Thranduil, have long protected this road. They will not give it up without a fight. of Mirkwood are now scattered and demoralized. The remaining few now retreat west to Rivendell. The time has come for Sauron to bring the war to the dwarves. They are a proud people and will not easily surrender. of Sauron enlists the Dragon Lord to help root the dwarves out of Erebor and rid them of their king. The coveted mountain fortress itself will be given as a prize. The time has come for dragons to fight for Sauron. At last, the final battle against the Dwarves and the Men of Day. If Sauron's forces are victorious here, then all of the lands east of the Misty Mountains will be under his rule. There will be no respite for the scattered forces of the North. were long ago driven from the mines of Moria. Now they've been purged from their mountain home in Erebor. Rivendell is the crown jewel of the north. This sacred city is the last refuge for the free peoples of Middle-earth. Sauron has but one purpose now. To claim this ancient place for his own and extinguish all hope for the free peoples.
Sauron's reign over the northern lands is unopposed, as the leaders of the free people are no more. Darkness now falls upon all of Middle-earth.